In this question, our ultimate goal is to find out all the roots of x to the power of 4 minus 16x squared plus 4. We shall be tackling this problem only using the factor theorem and properties of roots. In particular, the use of quadratic formula or massive bracket expansion is not required for this particular problem. The first part is straightforward. We are given a, so we can just use the algebraic identity of a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, to find out a squared to be 8 minus 2 square root 15. From a squared, we can figure out a to the power of 4, which is 124 minus 32 square root 15. Now substitute a squared and a to the power of 4 into f of x. We see that f of a is equal to 0. So a is a root to f. Notice that from this point, we can also deduce that the conjugate of a is also a root. Now let capital X be x squared. Then f of x can be written in terms of capital X. Since a squared is a solution to this expression, so does the conjugate of a squared. Therefore, the roots to f are the values of x such that x squared equal to a squared or x squared is equal to the conjugate to a squared, which is 8 plus 2 squared root 15. The former option yields plus or minus a and the later expression yields plus or minus square root 5 plus square root 3. Convince yourself that indeed they are the solutions of f of x. The main theme of this question is the reduce the polynomial to a quadratic equation where we know the properties of the roots. We see that we have spent a large majority of time on the term conjugate. This is an important idea on quadratic equation. Therefore it is worth revising these properties. Let ax squared plus bx plus c be a quadratic equation with real coefficients and a being non-zero. Suppose also that alpha and beta are the two roots, then we have if both roots are irrational or complex, then alpha and beta is a conjugate pair. This means that if alpha is p plus q square root r, no matter whether r is positive or negative, then beta must be p minus q squared root r. Moreover, the sum of the roots is equal to negative b over a. Whilst the product of roots is equal to c over a. It is also worth note that the conjugate property only holds when all the coefficients of the quadratic equation are real numbers. However the sum and product properties hold for all cases of coefficients. This marks the end of this video. If you like the content, feel free to leave a comment and subscribe the channel. I would upload one short question with a simple revision flashcard every single day like today's video. Hope I will see you next time.